she dry. She real dry. <laughs> Hi guys, it's your girl Brie Michelle here again. If you are new to my channel, hello, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> Today we are here for a wine testing video. So if you are new to wine, you are definitely at the right channel. If you are, if you know wine and you just want to know more about wine, then you're still at the right channel. All the wine I have here is really cheap. It's cheap wine, bottom shelf wine, but that's okay. One day we will upgrade and go to the bougie bottles, but today we're going to do $10 and under. So, um, and while I'm doing that, I'm also going to be doing my makeup. I do have somewhere to go, so I need to be getting ready as well as I need to be pre-gaming because I pre-game everywhere I go. And Roscoe, if you don't sit down, I do apologize um, for the noises that my dogs will make in the background as well as outside on my particular apartment is by the entrance. So cars are constantly going by. So I do apologize. It's just something we have to deal with. Sorry. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started into this video. Again, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get started. That's my baby, she woke. She my little chico. When I'm with her, we go down my so the first wine that I have is actually a wine that I've already tried before. Um, I kind of like to warm myself up to the new wines. So the first one is the Yellowtail and it's a Sangria. As you can see, I'm almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that. Oh, well, I guess I already know what this wine is. I actually like the Sangria wine. Um, I do uh, chill that, so I do put it in the fridge or put ice in it um, whenever I drink it. So you can have it warm, room temperature. That's up to you. Um, I like it cold, so just personal preference. <laughs> so the first product we're going to go in with is the Laura Mercier Primer. And this is the foundation primer. It says Radiance, and I probably should take my glasses off. Yeah, can't do makeup with glasses on. I probably should turn on my little mirror thing well, that's bright i'm sorry let's go there i'm just gonna take my Laura mercier um powder and this is in the shade i will put the products in the description box but this is medium deep and i like to set my smile lines so we're just gonna go ahead and set those so I did my brows off camera because it's nothing special there. Um, so the last one that I just showed you, the Yellowtail, um, I couldn't find the price for the small bottle. The big bottle is $9.98. So the big bottle has to be $5, $6. Um, but the next one I'm going to try is the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. There you go. It's the Chardonnay. Um, I never tried Chardonnay, so I'm very excited to try this today. And this bottle is $6.97. So I told y'all we're doing real cheap today by my chef Luca. Let's see what Shorty's talking about. Um, it's okay. It's different. I mean, obviously it was gonna be different because I never tried Chardonnay before, but it's not nasty. Um, I think I would prefer it a little colder though. I don't like this room temperature. Yeah, I don't really care for it to be room temperature, but it's not bad at all. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Mary Kay Time Wise foundation. And I am in the shade Bronze 5. It is very lightweight, very lightweight. And I love it. Um, I like when it's buildable. But yeah, I decided to do this video because, you know, well, for one, I like drinking wine. And I want to know about, like, new wines. You know, I just... I don't really care to just go in the store and buy a bunch like I just did to try them out. I would rather somebody just, you know, recommend a wine for me. But this video was fun because now I get to try it out and let you guys know what kind of wines that you like. Well, kind of help you find, you know, what kind of wine you like. Y'all, let's keep this secret between us because <laughs> it is 637 and I'm about to be turned. And I got to drive. Lord. And I'm really going to be drunk because YouTube only gives me 15 minutes to do a video because I'm a beginner. I haven't been making YouTube videos for a while and you got to make them for a while to get a certain length. To post long videos. So my video got to be on the 15 minutes. So we got to get this makeup pushing and we got to cut some stuff out. <laughs> we got to cut some stuff out. But I'm still going to try to make sure I test all these wines here. I have five bottles here. so And don't worry. I'm okay. All I'm doing is wine testing which is just a little bit i'm not drinking glasses so don't think i'm no alcoholic don't be coming for me in the comments so for concealer i'm gonna go in with this tarte concealer um i got it in a ipsy subscription 
um, thing that I got and I am in the shade deep and then I'm gonna go in with my color palette which I use on my eyebrows and put it in my smile line area this is the new trick that I was talking about because I crease there a lot and I heard you need to like double up on concealer and I don't really care to do all that but whatever not bad at all that's definitely a buy that I don't regret I don't really know how to explain it. I don't really know how to explain it. And now we're going to set that concealer with my Laura Mercier powder. And again, y'all know I do not bake because my skin is dry. So I press my powder in. I do not let it sit there. But I do bake my smile lines. Because we don't want them to go nowhere, honey. She got a long shift, so she need to stay put. All right, so the next wine is a wine that I've tried before. I can't remember what it tastes like, but it's the Apothic Red. But this is what the bottle looks like. Let's look this up and see how much this costs. So this wine is $8.98. So I think this might be the highest bottle that I have. And $8.98, that's still not bad. And red wine really gets you there. Like if you're trying to be like relaxed, like get that like kind of drunk well not I'm, I'm not gonna say drunk but you want to feel drunker than moscato you know moscato is kind of like the sip wine if you want to feel a little bit more than that like with your dinner and you know you want to have that good buzz for the night then i would recommend red wine i can't remember what it tastes like and it's at my house got much my friend drunk a whole lot oh she dry she real dry <laughs> she dry mm, she not that dry though I'm, not, I'm exaggerating but she not sweet red so if you are new to wine um red wine i would try sweet first and work your way up because dry you are not gonna lie you're gonna think it's disgusting and this is like a in between sweet and dry <laughs> that wine got me hot y'all oh my god i'm burning up so first I'm gonna go in with a transition shade and I like to do a transition shade that is close to my skin tone. Uh, I'm gonna use Diva, this color right here. So next I'm gonna go in with the color Revenge down here. I'm so sorry y'all, this palette is a, a ColourPop palette. Um, it's a collab with a YouTuber called Shayla. If you don't know who Shayla is, you should definitely follow her. I love her, Shayla, I love you. I have a lot of your products here actually. <laughs> but this is her palette. Yeah, I might gotta turn my air down because I'm burning up now. I don't have too many, look, too many glasses, and I'm over here wine tasting. I'm hot. I might just take this long sleeve robe off I got on. Yeah, I gotta get some soundproof equipment or something because I feel like I can't even talk because I'm gonna have to edit everything out from the people outside. Y'all, this isn't the color I supposed to even went in first week. Lord have mercy. We're gonna use our uh, MAC Mischief Minx palette. I had this palette for a long time and I barely, I barely use it, but I'm gonna go in with the shade, hold on, Schemer, with the color Schemer right here. I done messed up the highlight over here, y'all, but color Schemer. And we just gonna throw her in our crease. It really was supposed to be our outside color, but it's cool, we gonna, we gonna finesse it, okay? We gonna try to finesse. So for my lid shade, I want to use this new shade. It came in my um my last Ipsy subscription box. Y'all, this is the cutest bag I done got all year. And this is the end of my year. And it's so freaking cute. The color is so gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. And I need to find a good transition color shade that's going to look right. But that's why I wanted that pink I messed up. It's gonna take me a little longer to drink that, y'all. I don't know. like it. I don't know how he drank that mess. Mmm. Y'all. Oh my god. That is amazing. That color is pretty. And I give so much stuff away in my Ipsy box, but I'm keeping this one. She is pretty. I can't wait to the fall. Yeah, we're gonna just drag her right there. Mm, she calls for a drink. Okay. How freaking gorgeous this color is. Like, yeah, so it's called Estate. Let's look her up because y'all got to got to get this 
look into this brand i gotta look into this brand so it's called estate cosmetics and again i have the color um pipe dang estate it's ten dollars for this little video eyeshadow no, i'm cheap mm. thank you ipsy for sending it to me because i definitely wouldn't have bought that but she real cute though and she real pigmented so she's definitely worth her ten dollars So the next one I'm going to try is also the same brand, but this is a Moscato. This is like the starter type of wine. Whenever you're starting Moscato, that's what you get. And look at my cute little wine holder, y'all. I got it from a baby shower. Don't judge the type of baby showers I go to. It was a good gift, and I liked it. And I've tried Moscato. I like Moscato, so we good on that end. So we're just going to take some of that color revenge and put it on our eye. Put on our under um, lash line. And since it's the same brand as the Chardonnay, I'm guessing that it's the same price as the Chardonnay. So, y'all, we about to try something real new. I'm going to do top liner on my eyes. So, if I mess up this eye look and I got somewhere to be today. Mm. But I want to try it. I really want to try to start doing the eye thing on the top. And I got this in my Ipsy box. It's Ikeo London. I don't know, but it's a liquid, lip line, uh, liquid eyeliner. And we're going to try it out. And I'm not going to be talking. And I probably should have waited before I drank all that wine to do it. So. I just messed that up so bad. Like, so bad. And I think it's because my eyelashes are too long. I have freaking long tail eyelashes. It's ridiculous. It was not too bad. Moscato is pretty good. Um, Definitely chill that. I think Moscato. So red wine you leave out on room temperature. And then Moscato you chill, which is put in the fridge. Now I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild highlight. It came in my Ipsy subscription too. Y'all know Maybelline is my go-to, only two highlight. But I'm going to try to switch it up today and go with this. And this is the Wet n Wild highlighting powder. And this is the shade Crown of My Canopy. She real pretty. But last time I tried it, I don't think I liked it too much. So then I'm going to just use my finger to do a nose highlight. And then we're going to bronze with our Fenty Beauty bronzer in the color Mocha Mommy. And I'm still new to bronzing, so don't judge me. I just do it like a contour because that's how everybody else do it. But I like it better because I don't have to do that harsh line and then worry about blending it. And I feel like I want to go in with a blush. So I'm going to use Milani Baked Blush in the color Rose Dior. Adoro, uh, whatever. Looks like this. It's really pretty. Um, only thing is I don't know what brush I'm gonna use. Like this brush is doing the most, but and the last one I'm gonna go in with is Barefoot, and it's a sweet red blend. So if you are new to wine, I would definitely recommend this brand. Um, I've tried this brand before, and again, it is a sweet red blend. Um, and it retails at $5.98. And I got all these prices from Walmart.com, but I love a good red wine, good sweet red wine. Now, lastly, we gotta do lips, and I have no clue. So since we got a little brown in here, let's go with brown. And I'm not gonna lie, my lips because it's brown. So I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Luxe Liquid Lipstick, and I love ColourPop. I love all their products that they have. They are freaking amazing, okay? And this is like a cream. It's not matte, so I can't remember. What's well, the Luxe Lipstick, so I think it's like Sheen, like a creamy type of lipstick, which I love. I, I'm not a big fan of matte lipsticks. They make my lips really dry, and yeah, I don't really care for them, so whatever. And then for setting spray, we're going to go in with the Bare Minerals Dew Mist. Um, it's white, so it's not going to really pick up on camera. So this is the final look of... I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> this is the end of the makeup tutorial, okay? See you guys in a few. Alright guys, I am back. But yeah, so this is the finished look. Let me let you guys know which wines that I liked that I will buy again and I won't rebuy. <laughs> so the ones that I like is obviously the Barefoot Sweet Red Blend. Um, I love this wine. I definitely recommend this one if you're new to red wine and want to try it. It's a sweet blend and it's really good. Drink it slow. Don't try to drink a lot of Moscato because you will be somewhere sleep. 
And then my next favorite one is the Yellowtail Sangria. Um, the first one that I drunk, I really like this one. This one's really good. As far as the new ones that I tried, um, I really like the Chardonnay. Um, I'm glad this was a good purchase. I'm really going to try it. I might actually sip on this one tonight, especially being that it's new. I can really see how I really like it. One that I didn't like was obviously the one that my friend's been drinking, the Apothic Red one. Um, I don't really care too much for her and I, I drink red uh, dry wines whenever I'm in restaurants I'll drink them. I don't really care for them. I really like them But I will drink them whenever I'm in a restaurant and the Moscato one me personally. I think all Moscatos are really good Somebody out there blowing a horn. I think all Moscatos are really good. So it doesn't really matter I feel like when it comes to Moscatos which one you use that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed this wine tasting. Again, subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.